welcome everybody back to another YouTube video and this one I'm gonna be telling you guys about the best classic gobblegum setup to use in Black Ops 3 guys so let's go ahead and get Roy into the setup So yeah, so if you guys want me to turn this into a weekly series on my channel, then make sure to tell me in the comment section below. But for now, this is gonna be a uh, setup video on basically all the classic gobble gums. This are all the nice, juicy, classic gobble gums for you guys to use. So let's go ahead and get right into it with the number one uh, slot going to All Chemical Athesis. This one allows you to get uh, one bullet of ammo every 10 bullets, and it has two activations and lasts for two minutes. This, basically, right when you activate this, uh, if let's just say you have one more clip on your HVK or your Reagan Mark III on Gorod Krovi, and you're just trying to you're just trying to provide for your family and survive, then you just pop that. And if you just start shooting those things randomly, like shooting your last clips of those guns randomly, you will start to get ammo back because you are going to be getting so many points that the ammo will just start raining down like that YouTube money. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, that, uh, Alchemical. It's honestly the best gobble gum. However, you do unlock it at level 35. So now, let's get right into the second slot. The second slot goes to Anywhere But Here. Anywhere But Here allows you to teleport anywhere on the map but there. Which, by there, I mean whatever, wherever you're standing at. So let's just say I'm standing at Catwalk Common Giant and uh, um, I'm about to go down. I am out of ammo on two guns, however, I have enough to pack a punch. And so you just pop anywhere but here. And let's just say you go to the. Uh, let's just say you go to the original box location from Doris, like, and uh, like by power. And you just spawn there, and then you can roll box, pick whatever gun up, and just leave. And that's the beauty of anywhere but here. Is while it is random, you can get teleported to some great locations. So yeah, anywhere but here. The next one goes to. Uh, while I did put sword flay in, I do not have it unlocked. I do in the gameplay, but I don't because I prestige. It is called Arsenal Accelerator. What this one does is it allows all your specialist weapons to recharge faster. So if you have your uh, Annihilator on the Giant, then it will recharge faster by uh, the more kills you get. It lasts 10 minutes and activates immediately, but it is very good, especially on Gorod Krovi. And so, yeah, let's get into the next one. The next one, you, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I didn't say, but anywhere but here, you unlock at level 10, by the way, my bad. And Arsenal Accelerator, you get at level 30. The next one is In Plain Sight. <clears throat> In Plain Sight allows you to basically, it, if you guys remember what Zombie Blood was on Origins, it basically allows you to do that. It, uh, you're completely camouflaged from the zombies, and you can run around for about 10 seconds. It has two activations, and um, yeah, it's actually really good if your friend goes down or something like that. So yeah. Now, the next one is stock option, which, while this one is a little weird, if you don't want to reload, and you have the Reagan Mark III's, or you have the Wonder Waff, let's just say the basic non pack a punch Wonder Waff, and you just want to shoot that non-stop, well then, stock option is good, because you will not have to reload. However, though, guys, um, I'm going to have interchangeable ones in this one, and I'm going to make stock option interchangeable for two. One is Arms Grace. Now, while well, Arms Grace, um, so uh, what Arms Grace does is it allows you to respawn with the guns ahead if you bleed out. So if you have the Wonder Wolf and the Ray Gun on the Giant, then you die, you'll respawn with the Wonder Wolf and the Ray Gun. And so, yeah, the next one is Imp what Impatient allows you to do, basically, is Impatient allows you to respawn near the end of the round instead of the start of the next round. So let's just say there's five zombies left on the map. You respawn, your friend kills those five zombies, turns them into one zombie. Let's just say you had 20,000 points when you died. These are really good scenarios, but I'm just saying. And so then you can go buy yourself an HVK if you're on the Giant, buy yourself a Vesper if you're on Gorod, and then you can just hitbox, get your perks, Maybe get a gobblegum or two. And then, yeah, that's just the beauty of impatient. And so, 
yeah guys thank you guys for watching this video make sure to subscribe also guys this is kind of a collaboration series kind of thing but uh my friend ajax cinema and i we basically well i had the gobble gum idea but he had the weapon setup idea that i'll be getting into in a second but basically what the weapon setups are is he's going to be giving you guys tutorials on the best weapon setups to do on any map and so um right now i don't know if this is his video is going to be uploaded as soon as my video goes up but guys make sure to check it out once it goes up i will leave him down in the description he is honestly one of my best friends and i really do hope that you guys check him out but anyways guys make sure to like for more episodes i'm hoping to turn this into maybe like a weekly series for you guys but anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later peace